Hey guys, what is up? This is Symmetry HD, and in today's Photoshop CS6 tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a basic rough, uh, rustic 3D text. Um, this is one of the ways that you can make a 3D text in Photoshop. Now, there's about two or three other ways that you can do it. And since I don't have CS6 uh, extended, I don't have the 3D option. Um, but in CS5, I do have the 3D option. But the only thing is, my graphics card can't handle the repose option for the 3D text. So I thought the easiest way would show you guys how to create a basic, easy 3D text in Photoshop C uh, CS6. Um, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're just going to go File, New. And we're going to call this our 3D project. So we can just keep track of everything. And uh, and uh, we're going to keep the width at 1280 and the height at 720, and we're going to hit OK. As you can see, we have a new background. And to unlock our background, we'll go over here to our layer and double-click to unlock it. Double-click it again, and we're going to add a gradient for our background. We're going to go to our style layer and change it to angle. I mean radial, my mistake. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it to a white center and a light grayish... Uh, fade to it like so it's looking good a little maybe a little uh no that's good hit okay and as you can see we have a nice little uh rustic fade there let me just uh let's brighten that up a little bit maybe add some more gray there uh like so yeah it's looking good hit okay okay and okay we're just going to call this our double click we're going to call this our background just so we can keep track of our layers and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our text tool and we're going to edit text. We're going to, um, the font I'm going to be using today is called Velocity. If you guys want to use that, um, there'll be a link in the description for defont.com if you guys want to go download that. But yeah, so we're just going to call this, uh, let's call this, um, let's call this Adobe. Um, and, uh, yeah. So once we have that done, we're just going to center it up right like so. And what we want to do now is we want to go over here and we're just going to change this to uh, text layer and we're going to call this frontal because this is going to, as we progress through the tutorial, you'll see why. Um, that's going to be our frontal text and what we're going to do is to actually uh, change the perspective of our text like we did here. What we got to do is we got to right click on here and we're going to um, duplicate a layer. I mean, sorry my mistake we're gonna right click and we're gonna rasterize the type uh, once we hit that we're gonna go up here to edit free transform and perspective once that happens uh, a text dialog box will come up what we want to do is uh, we're gonna go over here to our left corner and we're gonna drag it up like so uh, it's all up to preference so I'm gonna drag it to about there that looks good and hit enter when you're done now, once that is finished, we're going to duplicate our layer to actually create our 3D text. We're going to right-click, hit duplicate, and we're going to call this text layer. Um, we're going to call uh, back, and hit OK. And what we want to do now is we want to uh, go down here to our um, our test layer back, bring that down below our frontal text, and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to hit Control Alt. And on with your arrow keys, the left arrow key, we're going to hold that down until we get about 14 layers. This will duplicate your layer uh, multiple times by doing this. So we're just going to click it about 14 times, maybe 15. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You can't tell right now. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to um, click on our layer 15 and go down here to our text layer back. Hold shift and click, and that will select all the previous layers in between. And once we have that done, we're going to right click and we're going to hit merge layers. This will uh, create, um, pull all the text that we just did into one seamless uh, layer. We're going to call this our back layer just so we can keep track. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to click on our back layer, double click, and we're going to add a gradient. Um, now, as you can see, once we do that, you can actually see our 3D effect coming into play. And so far, it's, you know, it's for a basic look, it's looking pretty nice. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add, choose a gradient. We're going to, we're going to make a light green just like we did on our other one. So for the back, we're going to have, for our, like, back, uh, text, we're going to make this a darker. 
like so. Hit OK. And actually, no, we're going to make that a little bit yellower, if that makes sense, like that. Uh, hit OK. And our front one is going to be just a little bit lighter. Like so. Uh, maybe a little out. And uh, looks pretty good. Hit OK. OK. And uh, before we do that, we're just going to hit OK. And let's look back at our this one. And uh, actually, we're going to change um, to get a pretty good. We're gonna, it looks like we had a, a little bit darker. So we're going to bring this down a little bit more. Like so. Let's see how that looks. It looks good. And bring our frontal text color down just a little bit more. And hit OK. And uh, now if we look back, it's uh, looking pretty good. Um, actually, we're going to copy this so we can actually get an exact color. Um, so we're going to go back to our gradient and add the thing like that. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, it's looking pretty good. And uh, now what we want to do is we're actually going to start working on our frontal layer. So we're going to double click on our frontal layer. And we're going to hit beveled and emboss. We're going to click that. And we're going to bring down the depth to about 10. Um, we're going to check off contour. Hit that. And we're going to bring this up to about 60. And uh, we're going to go back to bevel and emboss. And we're going to bring this down to 50 for our opacity for the highlight mode. And the shadow mode we're going to bring down to 50 as well. And now what we want to do is we're going to go to our gradient layer, add a new gradient, and we're going to make uh, a dark, same thing as our background kind of, a darker layer, like so. Hit OK. And we're going to choose another one. This time a little bit lighter. And uh, hit OK. And okay, and uh, that's looking pretty good. As you can see, it's a pretty nice basic 3D text so far. Um, but to add more, uh, I don't know, pizzazz, if you want to call it, we're actually going to add some more depth to our beveled. So we're going to bring this to 20. Hit enter. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Some ba uh, basic. Like I said, you can pretty much just mess around with the text and how you feel. Um, we're going to add some Satan to, or Satin, my mistake. And, oh wait, actually no, my mistake, that was the wrong layer. We, we're going to do this on our back layer. We're going to add some satin. Hit OK, and we're going to bring down the, um, the opacity to about eh, 15. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Hit Enter, and uh, or OK. Oops, sorry about that. That was my phone going off. And we're going to go back to our frontal layer. And uh, just, you know tweak our adjustments just a little bit we can bring up our bevel let's bring our bevel up to 10 and see how that looks and if we do that uh, a little too much let's bring that let's say six or seven yeah it looks pretty good add some uh, beveled contour to our um, our text and for the final effect we're pretty much going to do is we're just going to add some drop shadow to our back layer and what we're going to do is we're going to bring the size up to 12 let's see how that looks out looks good and the spread to 12 and uh, bring down the opacity to 40 uh, let's do 35 and uh, that's a uh, it's looking pretty good I mean for a basic rough uh, rough uh, kind of 3d text in Photoshop it's a pretty cool effect and uh, pretty much you guys can mess around with this you can mess around with the perspective you just gotta keep in mind that you just use the same techniques that we used just keep in mind your perspective and how uh, it will look to someone else. But anyways, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, please leave a like. Um, maybe add it to your favorite. Share it with your friends. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below if it was helpful or if you need any help with this tutorial. And uh, also, guys, follow me on Twitter at SymmetryHD. Also, go like my Facebook page at Symmetry Tutorials, And follow me on my Behance page to check out all my projects. And uh, also, I forgot to say that um, I do have graphic prices now. So if you guys want to go check that out, it will be on my channel. Um, I'm doing partner backgrounds for five dollars and uh, standard part. I mean, standard YouTube backgrounds for about three dollars. And I am also doing 
um, an online tutor, I don't know, tutoring for $10 an hour. So, you know, if you guys want to get more information on that, email me at symmetrytutorials at gmail.com and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoyed.